I'm Lori Halloway, known as the Meticulous Manicurist on YouTube and an expert in the field of nail technology. In today's video, I'm going to explain to you why you get these little hard pieces of skin on the sides of your nails that usually lead to hangnails and what you can do to prevent them at home. I'm going to do my best to explain how they're formed, how to prevent them from happening, and alternative ways to keep your nails in the shape they were intended to stay in to prevent this from happening. So the first thing I wanna to talk to you about is your nail shape. Take this fingernail for example. The side shape looks just fine, right? The longer you let your nail get, the more pinched at the tip it's going to become. So I'm gonna pull up this side. You can see that my nail is pinching in. The tip of it is actually pinching inwards because your fingernails are porous. They do retain a little bit of water and the longer your fingernail gets, the more free edge you have. You don't have any nail bed underneath holding it in a fixed position. So that free edge, when it gets wet, it will squeeze and when it then it dries and it dries in that position. When it dries in that position, it starts to press into our skin. The position it's supposed to be in is up like that. So I'll show you, uh, hopefully with this nail file, you'll see when it grows out from your nail groove, it should be nice and straight. But as you can see, there's a tiny gap down there at the bottom. And when I turn my file to meet the nail, you can see by the angle how much angle it has changed. So when your nail starts to angle inwards, the nail groove starts to get exposed. And that skin that was underneath the nail, the nail was sitting in that nail groove, is exposed. And that's where that little bit of hard, dry skin comes from. Here's another example. You can see it's getting kind of hard and calloused from the corner of my nail pressing into my skin. A lot of people will take nail clippers and clip that off or you can use a fingernail file to file it off if you want to keep your nails long, but you're going to have to maintain your nails really on a weekly basis to prevent that. So this hard skin, it can be filed so you aren't tempted to pull it away and peel and get those painful ingrown uh, or hangnails that bleed when you pull them all the way back. So you can file the nail and then shape your free edge. You can file the corner of this nail away from your skin to prevent that hard buildup from forming. But if you want to prevent this from happening, the best thing to do is to keep your nail short you can see this nail is a lot longer than this nail, and it's not pressing into the sides of my nail as bad because when the free edge gets longer, there's so much more free edge and that pinch gets stronger. But one thing I'm gonna show you today to prevent all of that is to apply a thin layer of acrylic, we call it an acrylic overlay, over top of your nails. I've already done it to this thumbnail. I had a crack here yesterday and I fixed that and it will make the appearance of your nails uh, the same shape. So I'm gonna show you this hand. So I have arthritis and the shape of your nails can change when you have different autoimmune conditions and depending on how much how strong your nails are how strong the keratin 
in your body is. You can see this fingernail really pinches in there at the sides and it causes a wonky shape. It starts to curve here, but then it really pinches in right there. So after a while of having natural nails, none of my nails really look the same shape because of the way that the nails start to squeeze in at the tips. This one is uh, really, you can tell too. It, it gets really bad and squeezes really bad at the tip. So what I've been doing lately is I had a couple of coats of just gel base coat on top of my nails just to protect them, give them a little bit of extra strength. And then I was using regular nail polish right on top and it, nail polish will stay on top of gel base coat for months uh, as long as you don't use acetone or nail polish remover. You can see I've accidentally removed a tiny bit from the tips of these nails when I was taking the polish off of this hand. But today my goal is to show you how to get all of your nails a symmetrical shape and prevent this pinch from happening so these little hard pieces go away and stay away because when we keep your nail, the, the width of your nail from, let me get my little pointer, the width of your nail from here to here, if we can keep it the same to grow out into your nail groove, the, those little dry hard pieces won't happen. They just won't happen. And see, I'm going to pull this one away a tiny bit. And this is what people are tempted to do when it gets hard and dry because we aren't using cuticle oil on a daily basis. We aren't moisturizing. People will sit and pick and peel and pull that away and then eventually you end up bleeding. So you can file that away to prevent that from happening if you want to keep your nails a little bit longer. But today we're going to uh, file off this gel base coat because it's not very thick. It's just one or two coats. I'm going to shorten these nails a tiny bit and I'm going to show you how to apply an acrylic overlay to get your nails all symmetrical. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my cuticle pusher just to push away the skin because I want to get as close to the cuticle as I can without touching the skin. If acrylic touches your skin, it gives the oils and moisturizers in your skin a way to penetrate right into the nail plate and underneath the acrylic and it'll cause some lifting. So we're going to push back the cuticles. I'm going to shorten these nails. I want them all the same length. I want them nice and short. All the same amount of free edge showing. Let the file do the work. You aren't pressing so, like watch when I press, you're not pressing so hard that the color changes in the nail plate. Can you see that color change? That is when you could cause some injury to a person. You let the file do the work. This is a 150 grit file. It's fabulous for filing natural nails, acrylic nails, anything and everything really. Now that I've got my length, I want them rounded. So I'm gonna go back and make everything symmetrical. I'm just getting a rough shape because everything is going to be shaped again after the acrylic goes on top of the nails. One of the things that I teach my students is you touch it once. There's no reason to perfect something that is going to have to be filed again. So this is just a rough shape because we don't want to apply acrylic on top of the nails and then have to shorten acrylic. That would be ridiculous. So I want you to look really closely so you can tell 
Can you see the natural lines in my nail? And then you can see where they stop right there. That's where the gel base coat starts. This is a better example. You can see those little lines and ridges growing up my nail. And then it stops right there because that's where the gel base coat is. So it's blended nicely. I was very careful when I um, did my nails not to file the natural nail. If somebody isn't going to keep artificial nails on their nails or any artificial product on their nails for a long period of time, your job is to maintain the integrity of their natural nail and to not thin it or file it because when they take the artificial product off, their nails will be compromised and they'll be very thin, sore, and vulnerable. All right, so now I'm just going to file. And I have an idea because I chipped this nail of how many strokes it's going to take to file off. And you let the file do the work. Nice and easy. We are going to file the shine off the surface of the natural nail. So I'm not pushing on the nail plate. I'm just sitting the file and pulling. Just sit and pull. to all nails. I'm going to speed this part up when I edit it, so I'm not going to talk during this portion. Can you see that little circle there? That's my natural nail, and where the little white lines are, you can tell that's still where some gel polish is on the nail plate. Here's a better example. You can see right there where that little rim is, that's still gel polish. All right, now that we have our nails, we're gonna prime our nails. I'm using NSI Bond. You're only going to get it on the natural nail. Don't touch it on your skin. I'm using Sheer Pink NSI Attraction Nail Powder. And in my liquid pump, I'm using the NSI Attraction Liquid. My favorite size nail brush is the Meticulous Manicurist Pro 8. I'm gonna show you how to get the liquid in your brush so you don't clog your pump. Can you see how it just slurped right up inside the bristles? Sometimes it takes a while to get that trained eye to watch it 
crawl right up the bristles until everything is completely wet. Do it one more time. Could you tell? You have to the saturation of the wetness of the bristles. My bristles are all dry and wiped off. And then they filled up and now they're all nice and wet and plump. And then I'm just going to tap a little bit off. So once I pick up a bead of acrylic, I'm going to place it on the nail. I'm going to work it to the left. I'm going to work it to the right just by tapping it into place being very careful not to wet the rest of the nail with my brush. When you change the, con the concentration of the primer to attaching to the ball of acrylic, it can cause lifting. So you wanna make sure not to dilute the primer that you've already applied. You want that ball of acrylic to cling to the primer. So never wipe your entire nail with your liquid of your brush because that just dilutes the strength of the primer. So we're going to set the ball. We're going to use the tip of the bristles to walk it over to the edge. Then we're just going to pat, 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 and pull it forward. Now don't wipe the, the rest of your nail because there's no acrylic there. Now we're going to get another small bead of acrylic. We're going to sit it on the nail. We're going to press it over to the side, up to the tip. Tap, 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 walking it over to the side. And blend it all nice and neat. Sometimes this side, when you're doing it on yourself, is harder to get, so I'm just going to sit my finger down and get a tiny bit more acrylic. I'm going to fill in that little gap. I want symmetry on the surface of the nail as well. Now when you're pressing or pulling or brushing acrylic, you want to be careful not to push so hard that this acrylic goes up into your bristles because that's when you're going to get a clog your bristles are going to harden. All right, the next finger. Carefully walk it over to the edge. Walk it over to the edge and then wipe off your brush. Use your brush to push it forward. Now that's about as thick as you want it for an overlay. The way that I do nails is very natural. I do not build a, a fake apex into the nail. This acrylic is very strong and the adhesion is excellent and you do not need all of that for strength. It's just not necessary. 
when you're when you have short nails and natural looking nails people need that look when they build nails are this long so you just don't need that nice and natural nice little overlay add some strength and maintain the width of your nail set the bead walk it up to your cuticle line walk it over to your side walls lightly tapping it you can see the angle 45 degrees not flat this is 180 this is 90 this is 45 now use the center portion, they call it the belly, to press that acrylic forward. Now if you are learning, gaining valuable information and education that you have never been told before, I would appreciate it. If you would click that share arrow so other people can find my channel and let people know that this is the place that they can come to learn all about nails. My pedicure channel, the Meticulous Manicurist Nail Tutorials, has almost 500,000 subscribers and I teach everybody all about pedicures. And now I've decided that with this channel, it's time for me to teach everyone all about nails. You can also take some of my advanced education on my online training academy. The website is called academy.themeticulousmanicurist.com. So when you have a thin layer of acrylic on your nails, your regular nail polish will not chip. It will never chip. So you could go three weeks with this acrylic overlay on your nails. You could remove your polish and then do what we call a buffum polish, which is just blending the new growth up and then polish your nails again. You wouldn't have to redo the fill on your nails for uh, eight to 12 weeks. The amount of growth that I had on my nails where that uh, base coat was, that was eight weeks. And then next I'm gonna show you how to file your nails. I'm going to give you a couple of different options. I'm going to show you one with um, the electric file, and then I'll show you how to file everything with the hand file. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pull back the cuticles on each side. Make sure you don't have anything touching the skin. And here you can see that I did because I pulled the skin away. And you can see that little bit of white area that was acrylic touching the skin. You've got to file that off. Okay, 
There's a little bit. If this continues to touch the skin, that's where oils and moisturizers from your skin will soak underneath. It's like a vein. It's going to soak right into your nail plate and cause lifting. So you're going to file your sidewalls straight. Now before, remember, when I put my file up here, it was angling inward. But I want my nails to look straight, not pinched. So I'm going to do sidewall. Sidewall. Gonna shape the free edge. Perf we're perfecting that shape. We're going to pull up. We're blending where the acrylic meets the natural nail. We do not want a ledge of acrylic back there. When your nail polish grows up your nail plate, you don't want to look at it from the side and see a ledge of acrylic. We don't want anybody to know that we have artificial product on top of our nails. And here we're just keeping constant contact with the nail file on the surface of the nail, moving up and down and around. Up and down and around. So you don't have to have an electric file to do nails. When I do my clients in the salon, I do not use an electric file on the nails. Sometimes I'll use it to clean up the cuticle area if they have super, super, super excess skin. And of course, to remove gel polish, but not to shape. Because we control all of that in the application. All right, so there's one nail. Nice and natural and thin. Now we're going to do the side balls again here. Side. See how this is nice and straight now? It's not angling inwards because we actually have acrylic there. Side, side. You want to get underneath a little bit. And then we're going to use, and then we're going to use the carbide cross cut cone bit in, in fine. And I'm going to show you how. Zoom in. To do the cuticle area, you want to come up about 30 degrees, not 45, about 30 degrees. And this tip, it can touch their skin. It's not going to hurt them. It's very, very, very fine. But you're not going to push hard. It can touch lightly like a guide. And see where that little white line of dust is? You want to file till that's gone. And then balance with your finger. We're going to use the back of the bit on the tip. And then you're going to change the direction as you go backwards because you want to keep that natural look. And we're going to go from side to side up the center of the nail. We've already done around the cuticle area. We bevel this section a little bit and bevel that section a little bit and then back and forth and back and forth. Super light. 
I mean super light. All right, so you can see the difference. There isn't really any difference, but you can achieve the same result by using a regular file or using the electric file. So, all right, we're gonna shape these two. Sidewall. Sidewall. Get that little corner out and off of my skin. I don't want it pressing in there anymore. Blend that back area. Now we're sitting the nail file just right in that groove. Right there. You see that? And if you still see dust, that little white line, there's a little pocket. You know it's just getting trapped in there. And then we're going to sit the nail file. We're going to push up, pull down, push up, pull down while we're moving across the surface of the nail. Now you have to have force from underneath. So I'm, I'm have my thumb so I can push down so my finger doesn't move. If your finger's moving, you don't have enough force under it. You need stability. And don't forget to click that share arrow so other people can find my channel if you've learned anything from me today. It's the problem with trying to zoom in on what you're doing so you guys can see so well is that the littlest movement for me and I go right out of frame so I apologize about that. Last one, sidewall, sidewall, get underneath, file off that corner that's pressing into my finger. Unless you want a square nail, of course, then you're going to have to leave it. Oh, you know what I want to explain? Do you know why I call this an edge file? The shape like this, when you're filing the sidewall, this portion isn't going to cut into your skin because it, it angles up. See that? All right, back in. Zoom in. Around the cuticle area, and now sit it up, down, up, down, up, down, and over. See how easy? See, it's so easy. I just don't need the electric file. And then we're going to use our buffer board. Smooth everything out. Get rid of those file lines.
Now, some people don't want to wear polish. You don't have to wear nail polish with an acrylic overlay. You can wear clear, so everything just looks nice and natural. That's why I like the color of this sheer pink, because it just looks like your regular fingernail. It doesn't look like you have anything on at all. All right, I'm not gonna get up and wash. I'm just gonna spray with my hand sanitizer, which is the 80% alcohol liquid hand sanitizer. Just going to evaporate very quickly. And then I'm just gonna put on uh, my meticulous manicurist top coat. some stability so sit scoot pull sit scoot pull sit scoot pull There you have it. Now when you look at my nails on the surface, they all look the same shape. I don't have any of this weird pinching. See, let's compare these two. See how the surface looks nice and symmetrical? This one's really bad. See how weird my nail grows? Optical illusion is the most satisfying. It's just instant gratification. And I think that's why I love doing nails so much is providing clients that instant gratification that having nails gives them. No. Cuticle oil is your best friend. You do want to have cuticle oil. Moisturize all of those little dry spots. Keep your hands nice and moisturized. There. Now I'm happy. Now I can go to the warehouse and pack up all of your boxes. Everything's on its way. Things are finally starting to get back to normal. All right, I hope you all have a great day. Remember, if I've taught you something today, please click that share button and let other people know where they can come for real life education all about nails. Thanks so much. Have a great day. channel. People like you are the reason for my success and I appreciate it so much. But remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for all the latest videos. Remember it is free and I'll see you next time.